what's going on you wonderful people it's big rob and this is an episode of big rob's house of entertainment and no chinese food so it is uh the end of the year the end of the week is saturday i was sitting around trying to decide what we was gonna do for this week's episode because i hadn't been nowhere all week because i've been a lazy lazy man this week because you know, it's the week between Christmas and New Year's. You just, I don't do anything. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I, I don't have to work, so I am i don't do anything. I, I barely get up and get dressed, but, you know. Anyway, so we were sitting around, relaxing and maxing, chilling all cool. And uh, my buddy, Mr. Mittens, sent some group texts that uh, Hobby Lobby had their model kits for 40% off. Now, from what I understand, this is something they do every once in a blue moon. Hobby Lobby kind of rotates their sales, I guess. I don't go there often, but that's just kind of from what I remember, what I know. But uh, I used to love putting together Gundam models. Like, I, I remember when I had to order Gundam models from Japan and get them sent over here because you just couldn't find them over here unless you went to, like, a Japanese, like, an anime store or you know something like that and living out in the country in south georgia there ain't many of those but so i've been a fan of gundam for a while i don't really get into the whole painting them and building landscapes around them stuff like that but they're fun to put together you know they give you something to do for a few minutes and you can put them in a cool action pose or whatever so i decided well i'm I'm right over here and take a look and see what they got so uh let's go to hobby lobby I always forget, because I don't come here very often, Hobby Lobby has just some really cool artwork. It is half off. Some sweet video game stuff. I mean, that's a really awesome artwork. Are you thinking, who would put that in their house? Well, I would. Got comic book letters. Different sizes, different ways. A little bit of Vader. Yeah, that's awesome. I swear I'm gonna get to the models, but I had to get up close on this. This is a map of Tatooine. It's wood. That's so cool. Well, it's not really a map, but it's. I don't know what you call it, but it's awesome. Shave these scrolls out. That is legit. Okay, so I'm on the model aisle, and they got a ton of regular models too, but she has Iron Blooded Orphan stuff. Gundam Breaker, Wing Gundam, Transformers, Gundam Exia, the Zaku. Heavy arms, wing gun, Gulf Coast. I've been out of it for so long, I really don't know who most of these guys are, unfortunately. And they got some Star Wars stuff too. I'm gonna take a look at this stuff. I don't know if I'll get anything or not, but I'm gonna take a look. Uh, so that was Hobby Lobby. They had some really cool stuff. I was not expecting to see all of the the wall decor and stuff just because like i said i forgot because i don't come here that often um but 
I did pick up a couple things I was going to show you. So this is the Gundam Breaker Battle Log, Gundam Helios. I'll be honest, and I'll be embarrassed. I am embarrassed to tell y'all that I have not read or watched, watched, watched Gundam in a while, any Gundam. So I'm kind of. I don't really know the history on this particular series or this particular Gundam fighter. So I will definitely be doing my homework. Um, I used to love Gundam. I used to watch it all the time. And I just kind of got behind because I'm old and had a lot of stuff to do. So I apologize. Um, the other thing I picked up, I had to pick up because I'm a huge Star Wars nerd. And I thought this was just legit. I don't have a clue where I'm going to put it. Not, not even remotely. But I had to get this wall scroll. Samurai Darth Vader. How awesome is that looking? Assuming you like Star Wars and or Samurais. Anyway, so that was my trip through Hobby Lobby tonight. I think I'm going to go to Ollie's. Um, and I know Ollie's is, I'm fairly certain it's still picked over from the Christmas sales and stuff. But I do want to check out their book selection, see if I can find any new Jack Reacher books I don't have. And also, I just kind of want to see if there's any good toys that uh maybe let i i just kind of been overlooking um i know right now they got like 33 percent off so i mean black series is down to 667 a piece so I, i'm not you know not holding out for any like diamonds in the rough or anything but i'm gonna go check and see what they got so we'll see let's see what's left in alice uh shockingly a lot of movie joes moss man eternals some of those Cobra Hisses, Lady J, Model Kit, Clamp Champ, Zeo Yellow Ranger, the Sphinx Guy, I don't know his name, on a Black Series Archive. These are good, if you, especially if you're wanting something that you don't feel the need to keep it in the box, but you can actually take it out and pose it. Battle Armor, He-Man, and Skeletor, Ghost and Goblins, some of these uh, Schleich things, Ghostbuster stuff, some model kits, a couple of Legends, some nice looking models, Wind Raider. Let's see, other side. Ghostbusters. The Fearsome Flush. A lot of Johnny Lightning cars. I know people that's got cars like that. It's a fingerboard with some shoes. Spider Gwen. Or a ghost spider, excuse me. Sorry. My bad. Reaction figures. Space Jam. A few Falcon. Uh, Fantastic Four. Vision. Ninjor. Uh, some credit collection. Vice Admiral Holdo, Juan de Baba, Dr. Evanson, Saul Carrera, Jen Erso, and of course, General Lando Calrissian. Beyblade. Let's see what else we can find. I still have some Fortnite stuff left. Dungeons and Dragons, Legends, same stuff we keep seeing. I'm not surprised. I don't think they have even made a dent in this end cap. Well, that was Ollie's. Like I figured they kind of got cleaned up from Christmas and starting to condense and condense, but doggone, they still a ton of Marvel Legends on themselves. Whew. Not just the Eternals, though. That There's a lot of those, but there's a lot of Black Widows and Age of Apocalypse and Ren Tri series, so it's, we can't just blame it on the Eternals, even though that's, that's a lot of it, but... 
um, and some Black Panther stuff and some controller series. So, you know, there, there was a lot left. Um, as for me myself, I did not pick up any Marvel Legends. Picked up a couple of Black Series. Those are ones that, like, I should have already had in my collection, but just for one reason or another, I missed them. So, whoops. Grand Moff Tarkin. Always need that. Peter Cushing. Yeah. And an Emperor Palpatine. And then I picked one of these up the other week. I don't remember if I showed it on a video or not, but I picked up another Falcon because the one that I had, I ended up sending over to Monster because um, he was looking for one. So I, I knew there was some more of these here. So I went ahead and sent him the one I had and just picked me another one up. Um, so, I mean, you know, I can't say it was a, um, a really super great trip to Ollie's, but it wasn't a bad trip because I, I found a couple things that I've been looking for anyway. And at the point that they're 33% off, it's a price point that I'm like, eh, I'll go ahead and get it. Those may stay in the box. They may hang on the wall. I don't really know. I haven't decided yet, but either way. So that is it for this week. I really appreciate everybody that hung out. If you enjoyed what you watched, please make sure you hit the check box or the thumbs up box or whatever it looks like now. Uh, if you really enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I do try and drop a video every week. Um, most of the time now I've been doing toy hunts, but sometimes I do other things. Uh, sometimes I do movie reviews, not new movies, old movies. Um, I got to finish my cannon box. So it's just driving me crazy. It's just sitting there and I still got like four or five movies I got to do out of it. I got to finish that. I will soon. But anyway, if you get a chance, if you uh, want to reach out, leave me a comment. I do read all the comments. I try to respond to all of them. I've gotten some really great comments. So anybody that's real left a comment recently thank you so very much i'm really glad to see you glad you came to the channel don't know how you found me but i'm glad you're here um well that's gonna do uh, if you get a chance and you're uh, on one of the other social medias i'm also on tiktok big rob's house uh not so much toys over there just more road stories and things i find humorous anecdotes and observations and witticisms so to speak um while you're doing all that don't forget about my book uh, 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 I can't talk tonight. Hmm. While you're doing all that, don't forget about my buddies Hassle and Monster over at the Nerdy Man Room Show and Hassle's Review. Um, they're on YouTube. They're on Fire TV. They're on Roku TV. They're all over social media. I'll put some information up here in just a minute or two. Uh, they just got through with their end of year uh, excellence Excelsior Awards. I did get to join them on that show and I enjoyed myself greatly. Uh, check them out. They're really good guys. They put out some really great nerd and geek content. Um, you know, tell them I said, hey, if you see them. Um, but I guess that's it for this week. I'll see you next week. Uh, from now until then, may the force be with y'all.